All right, guys. Um, trying to get something that's on my screen to go away. All right, there we go. I was making watercolor when uh, when uh, Shauna had to leave, so it's a Tiffany blue color. So let me finish that, and then we'll start the hair. I don't remember what we named this color at her house. We would have to ask her to look on her paper. I know it's one that I already had. Similar. I think the only difference is I had... Um, <clears throat> Glitter in it. Shauna, see what we named the one that looked. It was kind of a mid tone teal. To me, it looks like a Tiffany blue. Oh, Tolly Teal. That's that's the one we need. Yeah, we'll call it Tiffany. Or I'll call it Tiffany in the shop. It's not really the kind of teal that Patty uses. It's not as uh, vibrant. All right, let's see. I'm going to put the rest in my pan. There's not a lot left. Just top off. All right, and then there's one other I wanted to make for today that we'll make real quick. And then we'll use them to watercolor. All right, so that's mine. Like I said, it's got a previous, let me get a tray or something to set those on. And I'll let those cure and then I'll put those in the shop. So I'll have a 
seven of those. All right, and then I'm gonna worry about cleaning that. The next color I'm gonna do is a brown. Hi, Christy, hi, Kat. Hi, CB. This is a brown, kind of a chocolate brown. I sold another set and some individuals yesterday. So I only have two sets. I'll show you what I have. I have two sets of the In the Sea, like Kathy got left two whole sets i have some individuals still uh not all of them but that has the kelp the sky the sea the jellyfish the anemone and the sand and then i have six sets left of the in the vineyard which has a sage a leaf night rosé burgundy and grape and then some individual pans are still listed in um, both of those sets. And there are even some secondary ones. Hi, Joan. Hi, Eileen. So. I pulled papers thinking something differently. Um, then change my mind. So we may shift some of the papers that I pulled for the hair. And I think at the end of the week, I'm going to order some more of the rose gold and the other interference pigments. The that I had gotten the samples of. a little bit of water in there. But we'll do kind of a, I'm thinking of rose gold, this brown, the teal, and some pink or violet color on the bunny. Pop duty. Are you on the computer then, Judy, or are you on the tablet? I always watch on my phone. And I can move.
Touch more water, get that good and mixed. Make sure there's no lumps in it. All right, I have a little more. It's about time to order more medium too. Kind of a sable brown. Be getting worse storms than we are. We've been having flooding though in some of our areas, but it's been really nice and um, like calm. It's not thunder. There's so it's. We went out, went to the post office this morning. It almost was like fall weather. I feel like it needs to be a little. We haven't gotten that much. It's a little heavier, but I think it'll be good. I'm hoping it won't um, settle as much. If I start out with a little bit heavier mixture. You're welcome.
They were just when I was playing. I wasn't making big batches, so that's why most of them are uh, one-offs. There's always one pan that I get super messy. I need to put a little more on that one there in a minute. Get that one a little bit fuller. Get this one in there. Swatch that. Yeah, it's a pretty. Brown. All right, let me put these in the tray. Okay, so that gives me seven of each of those. And I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't think I have this one in my tin. So I'll keep that to use for today. Let's wipe this off, clean this up, and we'll switch gears and we'll watercolor with the two that we just made. Hi, Sophia. Hi, Dot. And I think I'll call that one Mink. So I think it'll be Tiffany and Mink.
All right. I should be uh, getting this all cleaned up with something else besides paper towels. Because that's a lot of shimmer gone to, gone to waste. Okay. And then, like I said, we'll use the rose gold that I know I'm going to order again, and we'll use this. These two interference, oh, they're still real sticky. I'm going to try and take them out of this tray. We'll use that interference. And we might use some of the blue, green, gold. They are hard to take out of this set. There we go. These are all from the new pigment line, the new pigment company that I know I'm going to reorder. And they're not custom blends. They're straight from the pack. And I know that I'm going to order them again. And there's a blue that I'm going to get again. I, I'd have to look up the color of that blue, but I know those five I'm definitely going to order and have in the shop. And so let me. Let's watch out the rest of these. They're still so, pretty soft. That's that blue green. It's my brush is a little dirty. It's actually not as uh, dark as you think it would be, but it is on the black or dark colors. And this is the green gold with the blue in it, and it comes out blue on the camera, but there's green in it. And there's gold. Whether I'll use those two or not, I'm not sure. And then this is the rose gold, which I think will go real pretty with the pink. And this is the interference. I can see why they spilled in the travel because they're still so creamy. And it comes out on the paper kind of peachy color, but it looks magenta when you touch it. But again, it's more on the blacks, on the darks. So that's kind of the colors that we'll use today. So I'll let those sit there first we need to start with paper and glue i need to move these so i don't knock them over Okay, definitely don't want to use that paper now. This pink had these teals. I definitely liked these because there was white space on them for the papers. I'm thinking 
Um, let me go wash my hands real quick, guys. I'll be right back. All right, they were sticky from the watercolor medium. Um, those might be good. That might be good. That might be good. Let's just start with that. All right. Um, Start with the ears. Sorry, I was not ready yet. So I'm still grabbing some things that I didn't get out. There we are. I need to find a, a better system because I think I've lost. pieces I need it. That's okay, Shauna. Just letting everybody know out there in YouTube land. Don't email me. Okay, so what... Maybe we want to start. This is Lindy's on the jelly plate. So maybe we want to just start with some ears from here. And I'm going to keep them kind of in that white area. So that there's uh, we can put watercolor over it. It's not dark, but um, I have a I think the outer ear might be some of the dark. Okay, so we'll start. With that, paper which can take. All right, and then let's go with this because this has shimmer. I'll go there. 
and then we'll put a piece of it over here. Because again, like I said, that will take watercolor, the white parts. And then let's put some of this chevron in the center here. in the center here. This is one of Joan's stencils that she sent me. It's kind of directional, so where I pick makes a difference. I'm not sure about the, it might be better on the map side. In reality. Or go with the dark. Well, I think this because then it'll take the watercolor. Thank you, Joan. 
All right, so that's the paper. Well, that's the paper we're going to go with. Let's just put it that way. That'll give us something to work with to add the, the colors. Oh, it needs something in the cheek. Maybe it doesn't need anything in the cheek. Let's just go with this. It needs a nose. Let's see. I do know that. It needs. Grabbing something for a All right, I'm going to use music paper. There's some music paper for its nose. Right. And I'm gonna try try to get the glue only on the paper on the back. That way, when it'll take the watercolor, I don't want to use um, ground. I have ground I could use, but I don't want to use it unless I have to. And I'm going to tear those edges so they blend out. This should be fairly soft I'm thinking with shimmer
The bottom of this won't show because it'll be in a mat. So I'm not too worried about that. Okay, I think that's all the glue we need. Using those, I'm gonna use this. That's what I'm gonna use. I'm use the Tiffany blue, the mink, the rose gold, this interference. It's kind of a mulberry <clears throat> on darks, but it kind of looks and I may not use a lot of it, it may not be pink enough. We may go in and grab. I know what I'll grab. This one that's in the shop is called Sunrise, and it will be actual a pink. I'm get my brush I like. I think I want to put the turquoise in here. Like it's continuing from that area. And then let's try the mink color. Next to it. And I'm going to let them bleed into each other. More water on that. More paint. I'm going to take a, just a damp brush and kind of bleed that out a little bit, soften that. Okay, let's go back with that turquoise. Let some of that. Granulate in with that brown and up. Uh, 
And I'm going to hit it with some of that rose gold too. Let's put that rose gold kind of in the middle where they are. Hi, Galena. Okay. Then let's go with this mulberry orange mix down in the cheek. Okay, let me dry that just a little bit. I'm going to add another layer of that. It's pinker when you get a heavier layer of it. Mix it with that brown color again and let it kind of blend. Bring some of that pink up in there. I'll get some of the mink over here again. And some of that pink color mixed in with it. All right, and then let's put the turquoise in the middle again. And then I'm going to get the rose gold and let the rose gold kind of push the two around. Mink. And more of that pink color. Let's 
And I think I'll get the mink down here. Okay. Let's try some of this. It's like an interference and it says blue, but I'm a, it really looks violet. And it may not show up on camera, but it is definitely adding... I think it showed up there, didn't it? Flip this around. Okay, that added. Can you see the? You can up close, like when you're standing and looking at it. If I tilt it, I'm sure you can see the sheen. Okay, it does have a mind of its own now. Let me dry it again real fast. Patty. Hi, Kia. We're just trying out some of the the new pigment ones I made that I'm going to reorder and some of the ones I made today. Let's try some of this pink. I'm thinking this pink could come in here and stain. gold up in here.
He looks like a buster. All right, let's take that pink and put some of that pink up here. Okay, I'm not super wild about it, but it's not the colors per se. It's just a, I'm not sure I like the turquoise and the brown together like I thought I would. I think it's too dark. Is why needs more of that turquoise in some other places. Maybe that's what I need. Maybe I need some turquoise down here. Okay, then I'm going to take some more of the ink in here. And more of the rose gold. Hard to see. I know it's really dark on the camera. All right, it needs more of this pink color over here. I'm just trying to find a happy balance.
I'm gonna dry it. Okay, that's, I guess, as good as it's going to get. Um, it's not as dark as it is on camera. It's the lights in my room. It's just really showing up dark. Bye, Shauna. Be safe. All right, so I think what it needs is some definition. He is shiny. All right, let's find a brown, dark brown. That should work. I'm going to put this on my craft mat. I'm going to try to give him some. All right, and let's get a mulberry color. That'll help.
I'm going to bring that color everywhere, kind of. But I really want to intensify it around the, the eye. And cheek. So we'll just put it directly on there and then soften it. And then I think we'll come up and put that around the edge of the ear too. Full strength. And soften it. Soften that again. Though I will say straight to paper, those are hard to soften. Oh, we got the outside dirty. That's okay. Let's go with right, and let's go with a uh, turquoise color. darken and just sort of darken right in that middle area down here and that's what we'll pull around the edges of this ear on the outside here. Okay, that gives that definition. And then we'll come back to this chocolate brown. Let's find the black. Oh, it's gray. I need a better system of organizing these because 
they're hard to find. They're, they're marked on the top. They're still really hard to grab and pick out the color you're looking for. Okay, and then I want the dark brown around the nose. in the black he's starting to at least look like a bunny and I think I want some of this brown up here too Yeah, it's eyeless Dotty. You know, I just love to torment you with no eyes. All right, here we go. Some eyes in here for Dot. the darker brown again. Okay. Starting to have eyes, Dot. Um, since I did this, I think we're going to do a metallic background with the paint. Okay. 
I did say hi, Jamie, right? Dot's got me perplexed. All right, let me put these watercolor trays over here. Well, I don't know where to put them anymore. I'm running out of place. Let me just set them up in the front of the table so they can dry before I can put them back in the tin. Okay. I think we're done with those. Oh, two more. I need to clean my room. Shawnee, you're back. I thought you were gone. Okay. It's too much. I go with a smaller pen. Hey, Jean. Are you feeling better? Oh, you're watching on the Kindle. Okay. Okay, what color background do we want? It's gotta be dark enough to cover up unless we can lift some of that. I can lighten it. graphite there.
Hi, Sierra. I'm just catching up on chart. So are you okay, Jean? Do you want a soft pink background? I'm waiting. What color do we think? Like a baby pink? Watercolor? Background? Put a mask on her. and do something whack-a-doodle, purple. Well, there's not, there's a magenta in there. I have, let me get my, I'm gonna make a mask real quick. Because I haven't idea about using some texture paste maybe and then maybe sprays It's not a perfect mask, but it'll help. And I can attach it. Let's use some washi tape. to attach it in a couple other places. Can you, um, can you get a, how soon, how, I mean, if it's not been that long, can you get a reduction? Okay, that'll that'll hold that down for what we're gonna do. Okay, let's find a stencil. Thank you. 
I didn't find the one I was looking for. Let me look over here. Here's the one I was looking for. All right, these are the ones I'm leaning towards. There's this one that's kind of like leaves or pods that could be a stripe. I think that one's too big. You don't get a complete. That would be hard to mask. There's this like Baroque one or a lattice. So one is the leaves like the pods. Two is the Baroque. And three is kind of a lattice like. Hi, Joycey. Two and three. Well, I'm only going to, yeah, I kind of like them together too. Well, I'm going to do my, um, grunge paste or modeling paste. Let's just do modeling paste. We'll do a combination of two and three. But I would think, Gene, that you could get a refund potentially. Okay, this does not want to come out. Let's take the lid off. All right, so we're going to spray this, right, so we don't care about coloring the modeling paste. And I'm going to let it go in and out in places. And I'm not going to care if it fills completely. Oh, some of that paint came off, huh? Which is fine with me.
Okay. Now let's try some of this. I need some more of that. A little in here. A bit more. So that's good. Let me go throw those in water real quick because that is modeling paste. I'll be right back. All right, so then I'm thinking spray. Dilutions, maybe? 
or magical. I have more choices in magicals. It needs to dry a little. But I do have a funky fuchsia. The funky fuchsia and the white might be pretty good. I don't want it to be too crazy. And there is a purple. Could go with those, the dilutions. Okay. Can I, I wonder if I can rush that a little bit with the heat gun and help it along just a little. Trying to put some stuff back. So, all right, I'm going to turn the heat gun on. Okay, we need something. I need something to weigh that down. Uh, a little bit. The tape I stuck on there is not. Holding it. And so let's see. Let's try. I don't think we're going to damage anything if we stick a little washi down there. And a little washi. Down under there. All right. I got to. Protect those watercolors from spray that are in front of me, because that would be no good. Because I don't have Tim's spray box. Okay, I'm going to add a little of the purple. And then we're going to add some of their... Should I hear something that sounds broken? No, I don't have an amber. This bottle is broken and I've never used it. That's what I hear at the bottom. Something is broken. Can you hear it?
Okay, we're going to try something radical. All right. I just poured all of it in a cup. So I can figure out what is it. I guess it might just be BBs. Yeah, there's a BB. That's what I hear. That's what I hear. So it's not, that's not what's making it not work. It's probably why it was marked down. Okay, so let's try. A yucky brush. Because I want some of that white. On there. Waste of money. I hate sprays. This might need uh, something else when it's dry. Let's take the mask off. And clean her up. It's too pink for my taste. Eileen, you probably have a heart attack right now. I'm going to soften it with water and lift some of the color.
need a wet baby wipe too. Because we're on on the ears. Okay. But let me turn this around so I can continue to work on it. Super sticky. Almost done with this part. And then I think I have an idea how to redeem it. Okay, so I do need to get Pink in a few colors where it's not. All right, let's get rid of all that pinkness. We need to dry it. Get rid of the delusions. I'm gonna have to give those away. Right, I'll have to dry it just because that modeling paste. It's going to look even better, Judy. Needs.
Uh, that this needs to dry. It's too soft to the touch. So let's do the. Ooh, these are gonna be hard to do too. It'd be really hard to do the eyelashes. I need to touch up some areas. I don't have foil. If you're talking to me, Miss Aline. Okay, let's get that pink back. It's got a few lines that are a little wonky. No, okay. I'm going to have to use I'll come back to with the other marker in a minute. Because this bumpy is going to make it really hard to pull these out. Yeah. The eyelashes are going to have to be what the eyelashes are because I can't get it.
And I think I'm going to need a paint pen for the whiskers. Thank you, Sharon. Oh, it's not my best bunny. I haven't done a bunny in a long time. I'm out of practice. a new uh, paint pen, so how to get it going. At least I get some fine lines. Okay, I gotta get the modeling paste off. Next time, I need to remember to do the face before we do the modeling paste. Okay, I'll get that, make sure that's cleaned off. That'll work. Oh. Right, let's try. We're going to try some gold paint. And I want to get another yucky brush I don't like that's dry. And this is Dazzling Metallics. Oh. 
trying to just hit mostly the raised areas. but take the pink down. Definitely it's toning down that pink. And it's shimmer. Trying to just hit the tops.
that knocked back the pink. So I think that's better. It's hard to see on the screen. All right, we need to decide where to map this one and uh, give it a name. Well, I know I'm going to mat it, but I think she turned out okay in the end. Um, I definitely realized you cannot... do the eyelashes after the fact. Unless I guess, unless you really wait. And I think we'll call her Tiffany. I don't know. Needs a mat to see where. It's going to be hard to write the name to. That's pretty much how it'll mat out. Needs to dry more before it actually gets matted. I was going to name her Tiffany, but I don't think so. For some reason, the name Penelope. All right, I'm going to set that aside so it doesn't get nasty. I'm going to write her name right here. Bye, Sophia. She, was that a name suggestion? Was his name Penelope? So we miss Penelope actually. Yeah, that's what I thought it was a name. done and I will be listing 
the Tiffany blue and the mink up in the shop today. The other colors, the rose gold, these other ones I will have in a couple weeks. Yeah. She looks like she's wearing a double pair of uh what is it? There they are. So like I said, these two, I'll have some individual pans in the shop, the Tiffany blue and the mink. These pigments, I'll order more and have those in the shop in a couple weeks. And that's um, a rose gold, a blue green gold, a blue gold, or magic blue, I think it was called magic blue. This is an interference with blue. I'm gonna get a couple different interference ones. And this is an interference that's red, orange, and I think there's some blue in there. So. There it is with the mat. That's all for me today. Here is the, the Tiffany blue. It's kind of a teal. And the mink is kind of a brown bronze color. And they're both shimmer. Already named it Penelope. The next one will have to be Hezebla and Harriet. Yeah, the mink is a pretty color. So is the the Tiffany blue. And that's on white. I don't know how they are on black, let's see. Some of these colors really pop more on it. There is on black, the Tiffany blue. That one's just as pretty on white. And then there's the mink on the black, which does turn out pretty on the black. The um, here's the rose gold on the black. It's a skin tone rose gold. And here's that blue. This blue is really pretty on the black. It kind of grays out on the white. It's a pretty color, but it kind of grays out. And this interference color says interference blue, but gosh, it sure looks.
purple to me, but they really pop on a dark color. Now it looks blue on the camera over, but in real life it looks purple. Bye, Patty. And here's that interference pink, orange, red. Has a funny color. See, it looks pink on the black. It looks peachy on the white. It looks like a mulberry color on the black. And it doesn't show on camera. You can sort of see the mulberry. And then I'll order some more gold and some of the other colors that they had. I'm going to try a couple different other colors that they had. About 20 minutes, Jean? Good, good, good. I use a Sharpie. I use a, a thin tip. I use this. I don't have a label maker. Um, and I got the foils, but they're all red. It's not what I thought I was ordering, but well, that's what came was 500 red. So that way, when they're wrapped, they're wrapped up for in the set. Now I just need to put in like a piece of uh, bubble wrap so they don't slide around so much. Well, the only reason I didn't, like, I didn't do any of mine because I can't read it. Like, once they're in here, I can't read it. These are all the colors that Shauna swatched. But only some of them are in my shop. Because this is when I was first playing and I was only making enough to make two pans. So, what I need to do is swatch them. And usually, what I like to do is swatch them and put it up here so that it matches where the pans are located. And then I can see, and then I don't use this to mix on, is usually what I do. So you can see on this one, well, I did it on the other side on this one. Usually what I do is put this, and that's usually how I organize them. This one had the numbers that came with it, and that's the order I put them in this set but I haven't done anything with these yet to label them these are the Lindy's and some of those earth ones I mixed I'm trying to get the all the shimmers to be in this one that I made like, and it's almost, it's getting full. By the time I put those back in there, and I'll probably move some of these maybe back over here. Oh.
Yeah. Um, I wish I'd bought um, the small. I wanted the small. I thought I was buying smaller tins. Um, but the smaller tins are really hard to find. They have them. They have a smaller tin. So for Kathy's, I just stuck them with some double side tape down. But I have some um, bubble wrap. And that worked when I mailed them yesterday. If I put three, like if I put three like this. If I put them sideways like that and then just put put them all on one end and put some little piece of bubble wrap, it just keeps them from sliding. They can't flip over. And I'm trying to, you know, just make it minimal as possible. Let's take a card in there. Okay. All right, guys, I am going to go. Thanks for hanging out. And I'll put, um, well, actually, I can put it right here in the chat. I'll put it in the description too. That's the link for the shop. And I'll put this in there eventually too. When she's good and dry. I need to sign it too before I forget. And I'll see y'all at Jean's in a little bit.